Everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of a view from Tracy's point and I am here with some breaking news out of Los Angeles you know they say when it rains it pours and right now it is raining on the life of rapper ASAP Rocky um, if you guys follow ASAP and Rihanna who are expecting their first child together. We don't know the actual due date, but it appears to be soon because Rihanna did an interview with Elle magazine and she was asked about where she want to have her baby. And she stayed by home in Barbados. And then we know that Rihanna and ASAP flew to Barbados. Um, I believe it was the day before yesterday. So ASAP Rocky returned to LA today where he was quickly arrested. Now, to take you back to last week or earlier this week, there were rumors out that ASAP Rocky had had an affair on Rihanna with a designer by the name of Amina Muadi, and she came out and stated that that was not true and that she can't believe that people would just take an unfounded lie and run with it and you know give the rumor legs but we know that a lie will be across the country before the truth even gets out of the bed and so she seemed to have put that rumor to rest and then the following day we saw Rihanna and ASAP boarding the plane to Barbados so now is coming out that ASAP has been arrested and the reason he was arrested was in connection to a shooting that took place in November of last year and so this article out of the LA Times states that after stepping off a private plane at LAX Rapper ASAP Rocky was arrested Wednesday morning on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon in connection with a November incident where Los Angeles police say he shot at a person in Hollywood. The musician arrived at the airport on his way back from Barbados where he was vacationing with singer Rihanna, his girlfriend who is pregnant with the couple's first child. Rocky, whose real name is Raheem Myers or Mayers, was taken into custody by LAPD Robbery Homicide Division and booked for assault, according to LAPD Captain Jonathan Tippett. On November 6, 2021, around 10.15 p.m., an argument between two acquaintances occurred near Selma, Alabama, I'm sorry, Selma, Alabama, y'all. <laughs> Selma Avenue and Argyle Avenue in the Hollywood area. The argument escalated and resulted in one firing of a handgun at the other, according to law enforcement. The victim sustained a minor injury and later sought med medical attention. Following the shooting, the suspect, who was identified as Mayers, and two additional males fled the area on foot. Mayers, 33, was previously convicted of assault in Sweden when he was there for a festival performance in the summer of 2019, mayors and two members of his entourage were accused of aggravated assault. Now, you know, they have to get it back history uh, your whole life when it has no relevance to what is going on today. And so the article goes on to say in August 2019, he was convicted during a trial in which a judge heard evidence about a street brawl in Stockholm in late June in which the rapper was accused of stumping on a man after throwing him to the ground. Mayors testified and maintained that he was acting in self-defense. A judge determined the incident was not worthy of prison time and representatives of the rapper um, so far has not responded to the arrest that took place today. 
But it sounds to me like it may be a similar situation where he may have been defending himself. I can't picture him, you know, not like he seems to have been very happy, you know, since him and Rihanna have been dating. Now they're expecting this baby. I hardly think that he was out there getting into an intentional altercation with someone in which he had to pull out a gun and shoot another person. So he obviously was acting in self-defense, probably some groupie out here trying to jump him or I don't know. They don't give the person's name, but hopefully this works in his favor and he is able to get back to Rihanna because there is speculation that she may be due soon, like in the coming weeks. And I would hate for him to miss that opportunity and why they would pick now to bring these charges against him and have him arrested because I'm sure they knew his name back when the person in November, I mean, how many months are we talking about? We're talking about what, four or five months now? So why are they waiting now to bring charges in this case? And then there was another article from Eyewitness News ABC7, which I believe is also in Los Angeles. And let's see, it seemed like they had some more information in this article, but they might not have. Let's see. Yeah, I thought they had the name of the person. I know on TMZ, you know, they're basically stating that he has lawyered up not TMZ, the shade room was stating that, you know, he has lawyered up. Of course, I'm sure this is something where he'll be able to bail out pretty quickly because nobody died. I mean, it sounds like the bullet grazed the man's hand. So really not that big of a deal, but it just seems like when Satan gets busy that like there is something going on behind the scenes where I guess it's ASAP Rocky's time to be brought down. Maybe he didn't want to sign a deal with somebody but we know that the music industry and the entertainment industry in general can be extremely bu brutal and when you don't go along to get along they have ways of coming at you and I don't think that it is a coincidence that this rumor dropped a few days ago about this alleged affair that didn't seem to work out and so now is okay well let's dig up this case from November and get him arrested for that. Like, you're not gonna tell me that they just sat on this for four or five months like it was no big deal. And I wish I could find the article, the other article I was reading because it actually talked about, like tried to make out like it was some huge conspiracy, how they got the FBI involved and Homeland Security was involved. And I'm like, really for a guy who was shot at and the bullet grazed his hand, like, they had to go through all this to bring this man in when I'm sure they could have called him on the phone and said, hey, you know, we need you to come in for questioning. And he would have been more than happy to do so. So let's go over to the TMZ article and see what it says. So TMZ originally reported, let's see, their original report was at 946 this morning where they talk about him being arrested at TMZ. Um, eyewitnesses at the airport said that the rapper flew into Las Vegas from Barbados on a private jet where he was met by cops at the terminal and taken away in handcuffs. We're told he was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon with a gun. Once again, this man is not out here trying to resist arrest or anything like that. So. Why go through the humiliation and embarrassment of putting him in handcuffs at, you know, one of the busiest airports around? You know, just the public shaming and humiliation. So it goes on to say law enforcement sources tell TMZ the arrest stems from a November 6, 2021 incident where an alleged victim claimed Rocky shot at them three or four times grazing his left hand. Um, NBC News was the first to report the information. It's unclear exactly where the alleged shooting happened. Rocky performed at Complex Con in Long Beach on November 7th, and Rihanna was in attendance with him. 
And as we told you, Rocky and a pregnant Rihanna have been living it up in her native country jet skiing while Riri watched with binoculars and hanging with friends and family. And let's see. And then they go in to talk about the rumor and how uh, we know that Rihanna is in her third trimester, but it is unclear exactly what is her due date. And then they had a couple of updates to the story. Let's see. Um, Okay, I talked about the eyewitnesses. Officers are currently serving a search warrant at his home in Los Angeles using a battering ram to get through his front gate. Let's say cops say that ASAP knew the alleged victim and the alleged shooting happened after an argument between the two. The LAPD says they worked to corroborate the information the victim told them about the alleged incident, which helped them to identify Rocky as the suspect. Well, if the guy knew him, then why he didn't just tell y'all it was ASAP Rocky? Like, why did you have to go through this long investigation? And then they had another update after that that said law enforcement sources tell us Rocky was taken to LAPD headquarters for questioning where he lawyered up. He'll be officially booked soon. And then the cops uh, wrapped up their search at ASAP Rocky's house, leaving with a box of potential evidence, though it's unclear what was inside. There was nothing inside because one thing these feds and FBI and investigators will do is they will come into your house and then walk out with a box that they took in there and pretend like they got all this evidence, you know, for media effects, you know, to make the story seem bigger than what it is. So I'm sure there was nothing in that box. So that was the latest update on TMZ. And that was um, not too long ago. So, you know, prayers out to ASAP Rocky. Hopefully this doesn't turn into some big ordeal. And I'm sure the guy said or did something he had no business saying or doing. And that is what um, caused him to get popped. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. So guys, let's pray for Rihanna that this doesn't stress her out and cause issues with her pregnancy. And let's hope that this man... Um, gets bond, you know, bonded out later today or in the morning, and that if Rihanna stays in Barbados, that and you know has the baby in Barbados, that they will give him permission to travel to Barbados for the birth of his child. But this just smells like he done pissed off the wrong person, and that they are out to get him. So that's it for me. Go ahead, leave your comments below, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.